New at 11, a look at how tornado warnings go out to cell phones. Many families we spoke to in the disaster zone told us they knew to take cover because of those emergency alerts. But that wasn't the case for everyone. Angelique Arentalk took those concerns to an expert and got answers. She joins us live in the studio tonight. Angelique? David, the meteorologist in charge at National Weather Service Wakefield sent us this map. It outlines a polygon. The expert says only people within the purple lines should have received the emergency alert, that loud alert Sunday evening. We're talking about areas like Great Neck Park, Haversham Close, Bay Island, and even up at Fort Story. Teams at National Weather Service are in charge of sending wireless emergency alerts like a tornado warning at the earliest chance possible. It's originating from us and then relayed through the different cell phone providers. People who live in the Great Neck area tell me whether they received the alerts Sunday evening. Both my wife and I got just that loud, uh, I don't know, beep, buzz, whatever you want to call it, that really, you go, whoa, something's wrong. Everybody's phones went off in the restaurant with the tornado warning and the lights went out. We did not receive the alert at all. Um, and we usually get everything across our phones, but we didn't get nothing that day. If you're located just outside where we issued the warning, you really should not receive an alert. Meteorologists in charge at NWS Wakefield, Jeff Orock, tells me they don't want to overwarn. Still, he says some homeowners who took a direct hit are reporting they did not get the alerts. He says the agency has reached out to cell phone carriers to look into any possible breakdowns, but there could be other reasons. If you're actually talking on the phone at the time, it, it may not alert you depending on the device. If you get at home and you switch your cell phone over to Wi-Fi only, uh, you will not you will not receive a wireless emergency alert. Same thing, obviously, with airplane mode. And yet people can also opt out. ORAC recommends going into your phone settings and double-checking to see your emergency alerts are turned on. In Virginia Beach, there's also a notification system called VB Alerts. Text from the or text from BV alerts, excuse me, supplement the emergency alerts from National Weather Service so it won't produce the same loud noise in the case of a high end weather event. But city spokespersons still stress it as a helpful resource. Back to you, Angelique. Thank you. Virginia Beach isn't the only city with an alert system. Both Chesapeake and Norfolk have their own as well. Be sure to check where you live to make sure that you are signed up.